Hello, Daily Light friends. You're welcome. Feel free. You're welcome. Friends, it's Sunday and this is your sister Grace. Again, at the other end of the camera, it's the day of our rendezvous. As we all know, every subscriber to this channel, hey, I am so excited. I'm so happy because we are growing in leaps and bounds. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Yes, you. Thank you for subscribing. Hallelujah. God bless you for honoring this vision, for supporting this vision. Praise the Lord. Friends, we come here every Sunday to get the word of the Lord unto us as per time and as per season. Hallelujah. This one has been boiling in my spirit to share with us since yesterday. This word of the Lord for today will be coming from the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 26, verse 15. Friends, I read. It says, And he made in Jerusalem engines invented by cunning men to be on the towers and upon the bulwarks to shoot arrows and great stones without. And his name spread far abroad, for he was marvelously helped till he was strong. Hallelujah. This man made what? Engines. From his own intellect. That's God gave him the intellect. God gave him the power. God gave him the wisdom. God gave him the grace to make engines in those days that would just stand upon towers against the enemy to be shooting without anybody controlling it. Friends, this word has been boiling in my spirit to share with you. As you are watching me, the Lord says in, in his word, in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18, that he is the one who gives us power to make wealth. Do you know that you can do nothing except by the grace and the help of God? Help is coming to everyone watching me, every daily lighter in your career, in your business. That is what I heard that I will share, that I should share with us. Help this day as you watch me, whether you're watching me live, whether you're watching me how many years later, this word is activated to work for you. Help is coming in your career. Help is coming in your business. Help is coming in your ministry. Whatever you do for a living, help is coming right now as I'm speaking to you. For that is the word of the Lord unto us. The Holy Spirit directed me to pray with us. He gave this man under Uzziah. In those days, Uzziah was king in Israel. Praise the Lord. And he gave this man wisdom on how to make engines to put on towers that nobody will control. Can you imagine? There will be no refilling. There was no refilling of this engine. But it would just be shooting from the bulwarks, upon the bulwarks, to shoot arrows, great stones without upon the enemy without control. That was wisdom from the Lord for this man to build this tower. In your business, whatever you are planning to put your hands to do, whatever you are planning to do, God is coming to make it big. It is not that God for God. God arose on their behalf to remember them, to give them power to make wealth, to make it in your career, to make it in whatever you do. Today, as I speak and I pray with you, that is your portion. God is supporting you. I hear somebody you were given support to do a business. Are you getting me? You are thinking of what to do. You don't know how to go about it. You have the finances. That is what I'm getting in my spirit. But you are confused on what to do. God is coming right now with wisdom on what you will do that will prosper, that will bring increase in the name of the... The Bible says a cattle on a thousand hills belongs to our God. Hallelujah. He gives us power to make wealth. He has sent me to pray with you. Every daily lighter, everyone watching me, I hold your hand in your career, 
in your business. Even if you are a housewife, God is giving you power on how to go about to make wealth. In your own way, you will contribute to the building of your family financially. Financially, that is what I came to do today to pray with us. Mazuka pre katudus kadadia suta. Lord, your children are here. They are listening to you speaking through this mouthpiece. I touch your hand. I touch your hand. As I touch you, I touch your business. May it prosper. May God give you ideas, strategic ideas of placement, where to open your shop, where to transfer to, that will call customers, what to do to bring in customers. God will work on your character, on how to receive people, even in your office, even in your job site, even in your business site, how to be approachable, how to be joyful, to your customers in the name of Jesus. The windows of heaven opens over your career, it opens over your business, it opens over your ministry in the name of Jesus. I decree over every business person, every career person, every housewife, you will not be small. The little in your hand, God will show you how to multiply it in the name of Jesus. I can't so smallness over your life, over your finances. Right now, even in your dreamland, you will get ideas from the Holy Spirit on what to do to multiply wealth in the name of Jesus. You will not be lazy in the name of Jesus. As God drops this in your spirit and as you do it, so shall it be. In the name of Jesus, I cover you with the blood of Jesus. This week, your career, your business, your home is covered with the blood of Jesus. Lack and want is cancelled. You will have plenty to give, plenty to give unto others in the name of Jesus. This season, you remember this word from the Lord. He is coming for you. He has come for you. Indeed, your career is blessed. Your business is multiplied with wisdom and knowledge on how to go about it in Jesus' name. Father, I cover everyone listening to me that is show yourself strong. Show yourself real even through this word of today. May they taste and see that indeed you speak and you do in the name of Jesus. God bless you. May your week be blessed in Jesus mighty name. Remember I, your sister Grace, I love you, but Jesus Christ, our Lord and personal Savior, he loves you more than I do.